Is he an elephant? Just leave me here. Come back when you're done. <laughs> Hi, Lily and Luke here. Come along with us while we visit Southsea Forest in the Fountainshire. Which walk are we going to go and do, Lil? I think maybe if we're here, maybe we go all the way around here. Oh, I wish the treetop walk was still here. Well, it still is. I don't think it is anymore. One, only one thing to go and do. So it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we've decided to come for a walk, but to be fair, it is a nice day outside, so. It's lovely, windy though, it's very, yeah. very windy. Very windy, um, but I'm hoping the trees will give us some shelter, maybe. Yeah. Um, we already Brilliant. came down here for the coffee, so. <laughs> Did you know trees can talk to each other? They give chemicals to communicate. So as kids, me and Lily grew up around here and spent a lot of time playing and all the rest of it. And one of the highlights of the place was the treetop walk, where you could, it was a big wooden structure um, where you could see over the canopy of the forest. It was absolutely stunning. Um, but today we've turned up and um, it's down, it's gone. It's just JCBs and diggers. But I have found a cool little hut over here, which I'll just check out now. Might be my place for the night if Luke decides to drive off without me. This hut's actually pretty cool to be fair. They've used the mud in the roots to make one of the sides of it. You can see the tree that's uh, collapsed and fallen down there. It's pretty cool, I like that. So I think I've just found Lily's new favorite tree. Don't really need to say much more, but um, yeah, you tell me what you think that looks like. That's pretty fucking I think that is probably a deer. It's too big to be a rabbit. Leave it there. Yep, so after our little adventure off the beaten track, uh, we are trying to make our way back to the path, <laughs> but I just met with nothing but bog. Um, Lily's done this so elegantly. Yeah. I don't have her style or uh, style. <laughs> The one thing that this place is lacking is bins um, because we're just carrying around our litter. Even dog bins at that because people do yeah, walk their dogs around here. Dog no, I haven't either. at all. So while we're sitting in the woods, um, the reason why we wanted to document all these videos is because it'll be great memories to look back on. Um, it also gets me and Luke out of the house a bit, like we have got a van. Yeah, so about 12 months ago we uh, bought a Transit Custom and since then we've spent the last 12 months trying to build it into something that's usable and uh, yeah, next weekend's our first time properly away in it. We're going down to uh, Hampshire yep. and Dorset. Yep, New Forest. Down in the New, new Forest and all that type of stuff. Yep. We've got a brand new awning we haven't set up yet. Um, yep. So that's exciting. We're going to do the first review on that. Yes. So we'll probably do a video on that um, to let you guys see how it all works and everything, putting it up and putting it away. Yeah, I must admit, we've um, we've not got anything to attach it to. And I've not seen any videos of people just using the guy lines to throw over the top of the van. Um, so I'm quite nervous as to how that's going to work and if it'll actually stay in place. Yeah. But yeah, we'll just wing it and see how it goes. We're met with a really dark grey cloud, so hopefully we don't get rained on. <laughs> it's what we're trying to avoid. Might be time to uh, 
Let's head back to the van. Yes. Go get some uh, tuck because I am starving. I am very hungry, so yep, catch you soon. Bye bye. And um, what have we just found, Luke? At long last, we have finally found a bin. Finally found a bin.